Hello everybody and welcome to another Tech Minute video. My name is Tom from Six Foot Networks. Thank you for joining me. So there's still the belief out there that all Macs, specifically Macintosh computers, are immune to viruses, malware, spyware, or what have you. Well, no, they're not. <laughs> Um, it all boils down to the person that's using the computer. So if you're a legitimate user, um, you know that Apple makes it very difficult to run arbitrary code on your computer. There's mechanisms in place, um, you know, system integrity protection and the new uh, kernel integrity protection that comes with the M1 Max uh, that makes it very difficult to do certain things from a malicious standpoint. It, it takes many more steps to be able to do something that may potentially be illicit, but that doesn't make you immune to that concept. You know, if you, if you look at it this way, if you're, say you're, I don't know, say you're an artist and you need some very expensive audio package or, or some kind of tool or utility that allows you to edit you know, some kind of file or something that's that's specific to a certain program. It doesn't matter what the example is. If you take that software that typically costs thousands of dollars and you go online and you find a pirated version of it, keep in mind, there's a reason why that software costs the money that it does. You know, you don't get something for free for, for you know, when it's typically paid for. There's a pristine opportunity for illicit authors or or, you know, I guess bad guys to inject code into that that can essentially spy on you, steal from you, and violate all sorts of basic, um, I, I don't know, I guess privacy, you know, and security on your computer. Now, the way you mitigate that is always use software that's from a trusted source. Don't go downloading it from file sharing websites or peer-to-peer -peer sites because that'll just essentially cause you more problems than you're than you may be aware of and ultimately it'll just make your life more difficult because now you have a computer that may be infected with malware and spyware and you may not even know about it so keeping that in mind you know this is this is obviously a very deep subject because you know trying to condense this down into a two or three minute video is nearly impossible but you know i'm kind of doing my best here but the point is is that if you need something you know you should try to get it legitimately from the manufacturer or from a you know an app store or something that will ultimately give you the peace of mind that the software you're downloading is legitimate and clean you know apple does due diligence and make sure that software that gets installed on the computers is clean, you know, that there's nothing malicious about it. They verify it, they scan it, they do everything that they can do to make sure that, you know, their customers' computers end up being safe and secure. They try to maintain that across the entire Apple ecosystem. It's very difficult to do when you're going to whatever peer-to-peer -peer site and you download garbage, you know, for free that normally costs maybe a thousand dollars or two thousand dollars in the traditional sense well that's a risk you're taking but be aware that you know <laughs> it's very tough to justify the getting something for nothing concept because in the real world nothing is free right there, there's that old saying so you just have to keep in mind that when you're doing that kind of activity that you could potentially be um, you know, secretly or in hiding or whatever, causing a problem that may make your life a living hell in the end. So just something to keep in mind. And in the meantime, good luck. But if you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. Uh, feel free to drop us a line down in the comments uh, if you have any questions or any comments. But uh, if you really like this video, consider subscribing to our channel. It really does help us grow and create more content like this for you guys. Um, God, good luck. If you're downloading illegal stuff, good luck. <laughs> I really wish you all the best. But um, 
know that there's ways around that and make yourself a little bit more put yourself in a in a more protected situation okay you can tell that this is a deep subject with me um i've battled many battles many fires with regards to illicit software um in the past and uh you know it cost my clients a lot of money to undo a lot of that damage so just keep in mind okay again give us a thumbs up or consider subscribing to the channel in the meantime good luck and thank you for watching